In my first video, I asked you whether you have an eternal life plan, a plan on how to get to heaven, a plan on how to become a saint. I also mentioned that I have come up with a structure for an eternal life plan, a plan to holiness based on God's blueprint. In this video, I'm going to talk about this blueprint. So, what is this holiness blueprint? Actually, it is found in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 3 to 10. I am referring to the eight Beatitudes, which is a central part of the Sermon on the Mount. Pope Francis, in his exhortation, Rejoice and Be Glad, defined holiness in terms of the Beatitudes. In the third chapter of his exhortation, he said, and I quote, Jesus explained with great simplicity what it means to be holy when he gave us the Beatitudes. The Beatitudes are like a Christian identity card. So if anyone asks, what must one do to be a good Christian? The answer is clear. We have to do each in our own way what Jesus told us in the Sermon on the Mount. In the Beatitudes, we find a portrait of the Master, which we are called to reflect in our daily lives. The Beatitudes are like a benchmark for spiritual wellness and maturity. They tell us what kind of people God wants us to become. They are like pieces of a jigsaw puzzle, which when fit together, give us a picture of the heart of Jesus. I have already outlined major character traits, attitudes, and actions for each beatitude, as you can see in this slide. I know they seem like a lot, and they are quite unsettling and, and challenging. And as the Pope said, they demand a real change in the way we live. Otherwise, holiness will remain no more than an empty word. You may wonder if they are attainable at all. Certainly not through our own effort, willpower, and abilities. But yes, you can definitely practice the Beatitudes. You can be poor in spirit. You can be merciful, pure in heart, meek, and so on. But not without the Holy Spirit. It is the power of the Holy Spirit which enables you to reflect the heart of our Lord in your life. But while the Beatitudes are the underpinnings or the essence of holiness, we are unique individuals. We have different inclinations, talents, skills, personalities, and desires. And so we are drawn to certain types of works, which in turn leads to certain vocation, which again leads to an individual brand of holiness. So we have different paths to serving God in our neighbor. Mother Teresa or Saint Teresa of Calcutta chose to serve the poorest of the poor and to live among them. Saint Dominic devoted his life to preaching. Saint Thomas Aquinas was a theologian and a prolific writer. Saint John of Arc began a military career to follow God. Saint Francis of Assisi, the founder of the Franciscan order, lived a life of extreme poverty. Saint Therese of Lisieux was a cloistered nun. So these saints follow different paths to holiness. So don't despair if you think that you can never be like Mother Teresa or Saint Francis or any of the saints you have an affinity with. Most likely you are not meant to be like them. As Pope Francis said, the important thing is that each believer discern his or her own path, that they bring up the very best of themselves, the most personal gifts that God has placed in their hearts, rather than hopelessly trying to imitate something not meant for them. But no matter how you choose to serve God and your neighbor, the practice of the Beatitudes, becoming more and more like Jesus, is essential. They lay the groundwork for works of holiness. If you are joining me in this spiritual journey, and I hope and pray you would, there are actually three major steps involved in this journey to holiness. Three major steps to living the Beatitudes. I originally thought of and wrote the steps I'm about to show you 
for myself because you know what i can be so undisciplined a lot of times that i need some kind of a structure or a plan to follow through on some of the things i need to do i will discuss this further in the next video thanks for watching